Hello my dear friends hope you all are fine and healthy my name is Parth and i welcome you to our channel must watch tips and today i am going to show how to make this percentage animated title slide where you can show category or topic wise percentage split in an animated way and trust me creating this presentation is very easy and i am going to show how to make this ppt end to end also if you want to learn more tips and tricks like this you can always visit our channel and those presentations are really really awesome so now without any further talks let's get into this video and start making this presentation so first of all let me go to file and take a new blank presentation i will delete this placeholders and now let us start with making an art so we will go to insert we will go to shape and here you have an option of making an arc so I will select this and by holding shift button I will make an arc so the trick is that if you hold a shift button then you can make an arc uh, as a part of a circle and not an oval so let me show you why I am saying this let me go to insert again and let me choose an arc so if I make an arc like this without holding shift button it may or may not be a circle but if you hold a shift button and make an arc then it will be a part of circle so after I make this uh, arc I will go to shape format and in shape outline uh, let me select a more line option where I will increase the width to 20 and now let us focus here so if you click on this you can see that there is a yellow button down here so if you hold that button and drag it will tend to make a complete circle when you move this circle like this so if I complete over here it will be 50 plus 25 75 percent of the portion so if I have a category or title which covers 75 percent then I can go with this arc now I am going to choose gradient color so for that I am going to this website called colors where I will click on explore so this website give us plenty of color palettes which we can use so let us say I want to use this palette so I'll just take a snip of it by pressing window shift s and I will simply paste it in my presentation so now let us go to our arc which we have made now let us go to instead of fill let us go to line and let us choose a color like this uh, okay let us choose a gradient fill uh, three gradient shades and here we can select different colors so if I select this then in the second color let me choose another one I like this but one thing you noted that the gradient is starting from top to bottom so we can change even that so in a linear let us choose radial gra gradient fill in the type option now even you can choose the direction according to your preference so let me put it here and I have chosen the website called colors because I find it very handy to uh, grab a color palette from there but even you can go to chrome and directly search for the color palettes which you want now this arc we have a sharp end at the where the shape gets over so we will go to a format shape and in the cap type let us say round so this is now looking more better and as you have created the arc now let us add animation to this arc so that it starts from here and end over here so let me go to animation and let us take an animation like wheel so you can see that the animation is starting from the top and then it is ending towards this let us change the duration to one second and it is animation is on click but if you have noted over here that if I preview this you can see that there is still some part missing while I present like this so due to that let us go to insert let us go to shape and insert a small circle let me choose no outline 
and place it over here now in the solid fill let us choose the color same as the background of that part let us go to animation and let us add animation of appear in this text box and this one the second animation which we have given to this oval shape let us click with previous so if i click on preview now it is making more sense like this so the animation pane is where you can see all the animation which you have applied in in that in that particular slide so now as we are ready with our arc we will go to insert and add a text box where we will say it is 75 percent let us choose some awesome fonts and let us select elephant font so if i want to place it over here i can place it here and if you wish you can place it below this arc as well so let me put it this way and so the uh, text box is within the arc so let us choose the font color the same color as we have in the one of the gradient let me duplicate this and let me add a title over here let us say topic first and place it over here and you can add your subtitle over here so this is the first group of objects which we have now let us add animation to this because if you go to animation and preview your some of the text are like still uh, appearing directly so instead of appear let us select zoom in for all the text boxes which we have like this so if i click on preview now it is looking like this perfect so we have applied animation to the arc which is the wheel animation we have applied animation to this small dot which we have added due to the incomplete arc or the rounded arc uh, we have applied this animation zoom in to the text boxes which we have like this and we have a slight delay of half a second after this uh, oval and the text box 75 percent which we have written so now these are all the steps which you need to do to make the animation and you can duplicate this by by selecting all and press ctrl d so this is where you can duplicate exactly the objects which you have selected in a similar way along with the animation so if i click on preview this is how it works so now let us say i want to change this percentage to 90 percent so i will go to this arc and increase its length by this much of percentage and i will say it is 90 percent contributing and in the topic one let us say i have topic two so in this way you can create different percentage sliders according to your topics given and at the end of this slide you will end up having this type of presentation so this is how the final animation looks like so i hope i have made it easy for you to make this presentation and you like this video please go and hit the subscribe button and share it with your friends and i'm damn sure that i'll see you in the next video and now it's time to say you goodbye take care and have a nice rest of your day